Right on the heels of last week's severe weather outbreak, we're going to be pinpointing another one coming to a big chunk of the country. Another multi-day severe weather outbreak going to be possible. I'm your certified meteorologist, Jonathan Kegis, and in this video, we are going to be talking about that. We're going to look at the risk area, the regions that the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted for the next multi-day severe weather risk. And we're going to break down not only the locations impacted, but the timeline on that. This all gets started right along the West Coast. Another big storm is going to impact California with heavy rain and heavy snow. So we're going to get into that as well. Stick around a little bit later on into the video for that. Hey, before we get into it, by the way, of course, hurricane season is right around the corner. And you're going to want to subscribe if you want to keep up to date, up to tabs on all things tropics as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date. And again, if you're interested in all things weather so let's get to it here as we continue to pinpoint this next round of thunderstorms we are going to look out west this big area of low pressure this is going to be on tuesday afternoon march 28th there is our low getting ready to ride down the west coast of the united states that's what's going to pound california oregon washington with that heavy rain, with that heavy snow. I want to show you this here. This is our big dip in the jet stream, and this is going to set the stage for round one of severe weather. And again, I'm going to show you the risk area in one second. It's where you would traditionally expect severe weather at this time of the year, right on in through Tornado Alley, parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. And it's that dip in the jet stream that gets everything triggered. Notice what happens as we get into Friday afternoon and evening. We are stopping this now at 9 o'clock on Friday. And you notice our low has changed a little bit. This big upper low that's sitting here. You see a few more contours here. That indicates not only did this thing strengthen, but it also now has a negative tilt to it. And we say an area of low pressure, an upper level low, has negative tilt. It's oriented northwest to southeast. We typically see these things stronger. The difference in temperature starts to increase, and that helps to enhance the severe weather threat. So in terms of that severe weather risk, this is far in advance. Typically, the Storm Prediction Center has their day one, day two, day three outlook where you start things off marginal and then all the way up on the scale level five is high. Beyond day three, it's broken down to a 15 percent or 30% or higher confidence. So again, it's on the rare side to see those day four through eight outlooks. Anyway, you see that here already highlighted with that 15% shot through Oklahoma City, just to the west of Dallas, east of Lubbock. This is going to include Wichita, Kansas. Watch what happens though, as we move into Friday. Again, this is extremely rare now. We're looking all the way out to Friday. And not only do we have this highlight for a severe weather threat. It's a very large area. Note that we have this little peach color showing up here, the higher confidence. That's again, 30% or higher confidence that there's going to be severe weather four days out, five days out for Chicago, west of Chicago, St. Louis into Little Rock, Arkansas. So again, if you happen to be watching from any of these areas, already start to review your severe weather action plan because you may have to put that into effect now this is how it all plays out this is the going to be the future radar here again starting off in california sierras are going to get dumped on again with heavy snow it has been a winter to remember it has been historic if you are a ski lover or love winter weather in the sierras but nonetheless we're getting more snow we'll take a look at those snowfall amounts in a second you see kind of this little spiral here through san francisco now bringing some of that heavy rain and snow into Nevada, into Utah. Here's day one of that severe weather risk. And again, this is going to be on Thursday. Now, this is not high resolution by any means. High res modeling does not go out more than 48 hours or more than 60 hours. But, so we're way beyond that. This gives you an idea where we're looking. Again, it does not look impressive at this point, but the upper level dynamics are certainly be, are going to be there to get anything going to potentially turn severe as you move through Oklahoma into Texas, parts of Kansas as well. Watch this expand, though. We show you the upper level low kind of explode there and kind of intensify as it pulled back up into the plains and upper Midwest. Some snow is going to be happening in parts of the Twin Cities, parts of southern Minnesota, western Iowa into Nebraska. And then note all the green and yellow. Again, that yellow at least represents where we're going to have the more intense thunderstorm. So again, 
especially when you're looking at one of these global models, the longer range, and you're already starting to see that stripe of heavier rain there, it starts to get to thinking, okay, what's going on? And again, we just kind of diagnosed upstairs a little bit. So again, anywhere from Chicago through St. Louis into Indianapolis, uh, parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, need to be paying close attention. Again, just be weather aware for the next couple of days. Follow these future forecasts. And again, things are going to be fine-tuned as this system develops, as it rolls down the coast of California. Back to California now. Look at all the snow coming to the Sierras. Again, some places have seen over 600 inches of snow in the high Sierras. Mammoth Lakes likely going to pick up a foot to two foot more, and that's nothing compared to some of these storms that have brought six, seven, eight feet at a time. South Lake Taco, Ta Lake Taco, Lake Tahoe. Guess I'm hungry. Lake Tahoe going to pick up 15 to 20 inches of snow, and then just a little bit of snow coming to parts of uh, northern Nevada. So a lot of snow coming into the mountains. It's, this one is not going to be as extreme as some of these other ones in terms of the lower elevation snow, but more flash flooding is going to be possible if you live in the lower elevations of California. Eureka going to pick up another couple of inches of rain. Look at that. San Jose, California could pick up an inch or more of rain. Los Angeles, we've had about two feet of rain since the year started over well over a foot now above normal. It has been extremely wet. Again, significant improvements to the drought situation, but no doubt coming at a cost there with a, a lot of damage at times. And of course, there have been unfortunate fatalities out west as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if you enjoy weather content, if you want to stay up to date with the weather, please consider subscribing. Certainly, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And again, we're going to keep you updated on these storms that continue to roll across the country. And of course, hurricane season underway June 1st. If you want to get the update on the tropics, please consider subscribing. And we'll catch you next time.